Welcome back for the Mobile Gaming Fanatics. I'm my time. This is Top Drives, and in just a moment, I'm going to segue into the four Frontier Dodge Carbon Fiber packs that I have opened. I decided to open these packs before I got too invested in the event, just in case I got something good from it. We will see in just a moment if I did or did not. And yeah, with the event, I actually late joined or late joined in comparison to what I normally do. It was Friday evening, so probably about 20 hours or so, 21 hours, something like that, after the event had been running that I actually came in. I don't know if that's going to help me or not at the moment. We will see. But before we actually go into the event, look at the team that I'm running, look at the kind of cars that are going to be useful, not be useful. I'm going to segue out, show you four pack openings, and I decided to keep one to do live on camera as well. So I will be back in just a moment. There we have it, nothing particularly great from those packs. Yes, I did get the EV, and that is something that I will probably use in the future. But to be honest with you, I was hoping for more. I was hoping for something that could give me a boost in the event, something that was going to have a big impact, and that car unfortunately just isn't it. So if we have a look at the cars that I have here at the moment, you can see I do have a few ultra rares, but are ultra rares and epics going to be enough to get a top 10? I didn't think so to be honest with you before starting the event. I did late join the event about 21 hours or so after it was up and running, which is late for me because I'm normally in there within the first couple of hours. And I have started to work, those eagle eyed people will see, on my Dodge M4S. Now it is almost maxed out, we need two more upgrades. And I said to myself, I wasn't going to work on this, so why have I changed my mind? Just to divert slightly from what I was going to talk about, which is mainly the cars we need for the finals, the Dodge M4S. Now, I've worked on this for two reasons. One is partly to do with conversations that I've been having with you guys. And that is to do with which car should I be upgrading. I'm going to take Ultra Rares and Epics as the examples here. Now, if you have, for example, 15 Ultra Rares saved up and you want to start working and maxing out an Epic, they're saying, which one do I work on? There were some great epics out there, like the Mazda Ferrari here. Now, this car is amazing, okay? I've used it chunks and chunks in my time. You can see 2,200 races in total. However, I barely use this car now. It doesn't mean it's not a great car. It just means that its relevance in the meta has decreased drastically. For example, you don't get many Japanese events anymore with good prizes which makes it worthwhile you leveling up these cars you now you might win a ceramic it's just it's just too old it's all focused around the more recent updates at the moment we're gonna get loads of American Frontier events we're still gonna have some European Revolution the, you know the great exhibition is still kind of up there and as a result working on older cars from previous patches from days ago they have less playtime in today's current events so from that perspective as much as I don't like to say it you probably are better off to work on cars from the most recent or recenter packs so from that perspective or update should I say sorry from that perspective American Frontier those cars can get plenty of play at the moment European Revolution still going to get a decent amount of play as do the Great Exhibition so those kind of cars should take preference over other cars now there will be some staple cars that you can still use and it'll be key for say clubs and things like that but just for example they're japanese cars as good as that fury is you are but i would say you're better off back in the m4s although the fury is a better car you'd be better off putting your your resources into maxing this out because you're going to get more use out of this in the current climate so that is the first point the second point is most of you 
probably already realised we have a special event coming. And if you didn't know, you can click on Michelin, uh, Collection and Tags even. Scroll down in the shadows. Yes, and one of the cars there right near the top, the Dodge M4S. So having a second one of these is probably going to be extremely useful in helping me complete the weekly challenge and get the prize car slash cars that will be on offer. So that kind of turned it for me. I will make a second one of these and max it out. If you look at the other cars, the Apollo N, you can get a Conisec here. You can have got a chance to get an egg if you go for those specific packs when they come out. Um, I would like to get the carbon Aston Martin here, so I wouldn't mind getting that if I do open some of those. I've got the Lotus as well. So I've got a couple of cars here that could probably help me progress and potentially get to the end and get that final reward car. Hopefully a lot of you out there will already have an above 030 maxed out that's going to be probably quite useful same with the birdcage two kind of cars which hopefully most people still already have um bentley's as well there's been plenty of bentley packs etc plenty of opportunity for you to get the uh wo edition miscellany now you've all probably noticed in the shadows all these cars are black or black with a bit of white with them or they are in black and white in terms of the color of the picture even if the car underneath isn't technically black and white so it gives you an idea you scroll along First, we notice there's not that many super rares, ultra rares, epics, or legendaries, so you may be missing a few cars. You may need to get a pack or two here to be able to get a decent team together. Now, I've got enough cars to probably get me fairly far. Is there anything here really worth getting? Um, none of the cars are amazing. I mean, the, the, the Dallara's a okay. I mean, the Abarth is pretty good, M4S is pretty decent. Um, not so much like amazing hopefully a lot of you've got like the Countach as well because it's one of the few ultra rares with all the lamborghini carbon fibers people may have opened and then there's a lot of other cars in here so from it's not just one uh, um, genre you've got af cars you've got um italian renaissance cars you've got great exhibition cars so you've got a bit of everything now one little thing to point out apparently the Chrysler Falcon was going to be the prize card, the key to unlocking everything in this event. You would need five of these. Again, it's a card that's already released in the game. You can already start collecting and it may already be in your garage. Now, I like that because this helps new players um, and, you know, kind of levels the playing field a little bit with old players because somebody who's been playing the game for a year, year and a half may have some of these already stored in their garage so they're at a massive advantage when it comes to the challenge they can start working their way through straight away whereas new players they're going to have to take part in events and struggle to collect them this way everyone's on the same playing field you can collect these cars from just playing the game go into daily grind it out and you may get lucky and pick those cars up so if that is how it's going to stay I'm pretty happy to see that and let's just come into the event anyway let's get on to the finals i will show you i have played some races now so late joined 21 hours or so after the event uh, i've just played five races fairly recently to boost me back up into around the top 15 or so just so we can have a look at the kind of teams which are occupying the top 10 now before we do Frontier Dodge non-prize, we was all pretty, pretty, uh, pretty aware that was going to happen. When we actually look at the prizes, tier one, tier two, pretty standard. Tier three is 11 to 20 now. Carbon fiber, you get the Corvette Stingray. Tier four, 21 to 40. The same prizes, carbon fiber, cash, gold, everything. The only difference is you get a worse epic, but it's still an epic. Rank 41 to 80 carbon fiber they drop it down to a bmw m5 guaranteed so it's two ultra rares if you finish in top 80 because of the carbon fiber and 81 to 180 you only get the ceramic but you do get a guaranteed ultra rare as well so the, the rewards aren't too bad if you just look at what they actually are forget the actual cars for those ranks nothing really to talk about down here one thing which i would like to see introduced by hutch and that's not just in this event that's in all these like special events if you've got the tvr severa speed 12 as your main car why can the undercars not be tvrs or wild ride cards you know i'm not saying anyone particularly want to get the, the tuscan or you know the griffith or any of those kind of cars as ultra rares and epics but at least they would have some kind of synergy with the price car or put some wild rides in why have we got Chevrolets, BMWs, Chryslers, Porsches? There's, there's no correlation between them. We've got medium ground clearance, low. You've, you know, you've got rear wheel drive. Are they all rear wheel drive? Okay, they may all be rear wheel drive. That's about the only, only thing going for them all. This, this is front wheel. No, um, it. But it still just doesn't. It just doesn't make any sense if you ask me. And on top of that, 
these prices are whack like nobody cares as i just pointed out these are cars from old 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 updates okay they don't get any play really in the game now why not put in some american frontier super rares just so people think oh you know i, I don't mind getting that I, i'd like i need that car i'd like to get that car I know they've got some better prizes in here and split the ranks to here's down a bit to try and encourage people to play and obviously spend on the packs and that. I get that. But they could improve the rewards still. And that would, if they made the rewards better, people are going to be more likely to play the event and then obviously more likely to spend. But anyway, let's just drop, drop in. Let's drop in now. Here we go. This is the team that I'm running with. I will show you. I do have some options. I can drop out both of these two cars for the challenger rt scat pack or the acr i will have eventually a maxed out m4s so that will be an improvement with three maxed out epics and two maxed out ultra rares there is one drag track maximum on a track if it comes up so you do not need to go for more than one drag car the rest of it should all be twisty that is my first tip and bit of advice now the first thing i could do i could swap out my challenger this could be my drag car and it would beat the charger srt However, I'd have to put in another... How many ultra rares I've put in so far? Gosh, I can't believe really worked on this car. Damn it. Yeah, I'd have to... If I'm maxing these out, I'm putting in another nine ultra rares there. And there's going to be very little difference between the cars. Um, you will see this car will lose, but not by too many points. This car is still going to lose by 50 points against the top cars. So to me, that doesn't really make much of a difference. What would potentially make a difference is to leave this one in and throw the ACR in and I really don't want to work in it but I might have to I might have to that would improve my hand and it would give me a better chance on the twisty tracks but let's just come into the games and let's kind of show you a few of the people we're up against as we can see here get an idea of a hand what I miss what I miss in my current lineup is a go-to car a car that is going to get me the victory and I'm not saying that the Viper SRT 10 here is a guaranteed victory because they'd obviously need to work on it but i could at least if i had it in my hand put a couple of epics into it i'd feel i was going to get a victory with it the same could kind of go here with the gtsr concept when you max it out this guy's got 97 handling okay nice i would go 233 but at least i think i'm going to win the t probably going to win the twisty event that i'm in unless i'm against one of the legendaries i don't have that with my epics and um, if we move up again here if i had the challenger i'd probably do this for the drag i would max this out put that in for the drag um because i know I'd, i can get a few victories with that and again same kind of thing here I, although i can win this um it, you know my, my team's not my team's not great how this guy's here no idea that hand won't stay there it's not strong enough um again here if you've got the viper ta great this i could think yes i've got a victory couple of epics into it not a lot of people are going to have too many of them maxed out get something here and i'd have a chance to make up the points elsewhere uh again the srt 10 having this one would not guarantee a victory but it would give me a chance because at the moment i'm struggling i don't think i can beat the srt 10 i don't think my m4s wins even though it's lighter i don't think it wins in the twisty road or the g-force i'm pretty sure it doesn't i don't want to take that match up just to try and prove it and yeah so you get an idea of the kind of cars that are up here here we go so 98 handling um i can't beat this it's the kind of car that i was hoping to get but we're going to play raymond anyway just for the sake of it so what i could do though is i can get a victory here i hope with the mountain road twisty i really really hope he's gone for the speed version i'm hoping hoping we win like this um we throw in we're gonna lose the slalom anyway so we go like this and i uh, hope like this then we just take the feet and here we go so this is why you see i don't think there is much point in bringing in the scat pack because even on the tracks it's going to lose, it's not going to do much better than the SRT392 is going to do anyway. So this is still a defeat, but it's not a big defeat. It's 50 points. The scat pack isn't, it can't improve that. It's still going to lose, it's still going to lose by 50. Why should I invest those ultra rares? There is, there is just no point at this moment in time. Hopefully this is going to be a victory as well. Maybe if they maxed out the sidewinder it would be closer, but still, as it currently stands... 
um, and then in the drag here we go. I know we lose it's fine but again only gonna lose by 50 points so all goes down to the last race and a maxed out M4S obviously would have been a victory here I'm hoping it still is it still is okay so there we go it seems to be a bit laggy at the moment apologies for that but that gives you an idea so where were they okay they were 31 for 20 so as my hand currently stands if i do max out the m4s i think i'm around that area i do feel though i do feel that bringing in the acr is the way to go okay i'm not gonna do it for this one go i'm gonna go into another match and just see if i can bring up someone above him okay so this is yip fan vic Uranace or something like that um we can see here i can't in circuit i'm just not gonna be able to beat um it's a tie if we go here i can win here win here so i can get a victory here without a maxed out team but again i don't think this guy is going to stay in the top 10. i think his his time here is should we say um limited now i'm going to try something this might cost me the match but i want to see the M4S can win in the car in circuit because this makes a big difference. This makes a difference as to the kind of car that I want to pull out from the pack I'm going to do in just a moment because I need to know which of the epics actually are going to help me. I don't want to get another car where it doesn't make any difference because I still lose. So, a tie here. This is the 233 version, just so you are aware. The 233 does beat the 323 in that track. I don't know about the mountain twisty road, but it does in that one. Uh, no, we lose. Okay, so there we go. So we've shown it, the Dodge Viper here, 233, the extra handling, not, even though it is a bit heavier, M4S, it's just not key enough. It's just not key enough to, um, to warrant having a second. So we lose that. Okay, and I think we, okay, we get the tie. So we could have obviously ran this a little bit differently, and I think I still would have, I think I would have won, but you get, you get the drift you get the idea there so i can be around the top 10. i should i'm pretty sure the current team top 40 is pretty much a certain i should be able to maintain a top 20 rank especially with a couple of improvements or potential changes i have a chance of penetrating the top 10 but it does depend how the rest of these teams get on like fabulous center i know he's got a fairly decent team i've seen oliver's i can't beat that at the moment um i don't know about gaz uh glenn hawks had a i don't know how he's played so many matches and how he's been smashed so much but he um he uh, from what i remember he had a pretty good lineup as well so i've got a feeling if i push myself into the top 10 i will start getting pounded so it might be one of those events where i want to want to maintain a eighth ninth position so the top guys can't attack me and leave myself in a position where the people below struggle to beat me i think that's what we're going to go for so to end this video let's come in i'm hoping there's only going to be one carbon fiber pack here i know what i'm like i don't want to use my cash just in case i need to use some tickets etc in the event let's see if we can get let's just get a car here just get me a car that improves my hand like i want and then we do not have to bother with another pack look at oh look at the, the lag the delay did you see that the lag in the game perfect it was going let me find that card let me find that card bing thank you oh right now we now we can go for top 10 now now it changes now it all changes it all changes now okay it was worth it that changes everything it changes it not because it's the best legend doing in the game because it isn't but it gives me something that i can put out against other people because i've got the resources to work in it and i can say guess what you know i've got a uh, i've got a car that can challenge you that can make you think and even better than that even better than that it, it gives me a car that people who are lower rank than me are going to look at and think oh wait up um oh do i do i want to do i want to race you Ooh, you know they're gonna um and ah uh, oh yeah oh i don't i don't know i don't know do do i want to or maybe maybe i'll avoid you maybe maybe nah maybe i won't maybe i won't race you maybe i'll find somebody else and that's the kind of that is the kind of thing which is going to help me 
um, in the end. So really, really, I don't even know what cards I'm going to be using here. Um, what am I not building for a while? I know I'm going to end up coming back to changes. I'm not going to be building more of you or hmm not really matter loads of these I could get rid of but I want to try and keep one or two that I might consider building in the near future okay I'm not going to build you so yeah that's the difference for me to maintain like a seventh eighth ninth kind of position to have a car where people below think oh, I'm not sure I can beat that guy that's what I wanted. So that had been a successful end to the video. Let me know how the finals are getting on for you. Hopefully, 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 I'm going to be able to show you me coming in the top 10. I'm not going to count my chickens just yet. I'll bring you an update with that possibly tomorrow. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Let me know in the comment section below if you have. As ever, much love. Thank you for all the support. And I'll see you all soon.